Welcome back. So on KSAT.com, we have a wonderful story about the history of Shiner Beer and the woman behind it. Photojournalist Asian Bermea, he's here with us now. He's the man behind that camera. You went with Sarah Acosta for this story. So how did this idea even come about? Uh, well, earlier last year, or late last year in October, I went with Max. We just went to go. I'd never been. And they were giving us a tour. And she had mentioned how she had save the brewery and I was like oh that's a good story I know exactly when I want to do that story in March for women's history women's month. history month so I told Sarah and we went out again obviously the story's out there but give us some uh, behind the scenes stuff that may not be in that story how did you uh, approach her how did how did y'all end up uh, putting this whole story together well again like I said you, I, I knew the month that it was going to be in mm -hmm. so when I told Sarah we need to get out there we want to go see what she really did, and they told us her dad was ready to just sell it. He was gone through prohibition. His wife had just passed. You know, he went back to Germany to go get her, the daughter, to have her help him sell it. When she got here, she fell in love with it and was like, "You can't sell this. It, it's not. It's not what. Like you've got to keep going." So he did, and she persuaded him. And then in 1950, he had passed. Uh, cosmos and she took over and in that time it was rare to even see a woman you know being on the flagship of a brewery and what is it like seeing just the process of you know the bottling packaging all that um, i mean back then i don't know but today it's rapid like they are shipping out all around the world now to uh, military bases around the world all across the u.s all 50 states i know like when i went to hawaii this past summer I saw a Shiner bottle and I got a little excited. Yeah, you get excited when you see that. <laughs> it's it's all over. Um, so my question is, how did you manage to go through this whole story without the taste test? Because Sarah did. Because Sarah did. Yeah, did you? <clears throat> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fair enough. You, you I mean, got why guts admitting that anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, how long that's is this good. tour? Oh, man, the tour, I don't, it was like, Maybe an hour. Okay, so a good yeah. family outing. Yeah, yeah. Shiner's not too and it's, far. It's, it's it's not far. It's conveniently close and lots to do for the family. Like just lots of running room. Uh, they have cornhole. They have Jenga. You know. So, so it's a family event. The, the it, tour. I of mean, it can be. Yeah, it's Brewery. educational. It really is educational to, to see the growth that Shiner has done. I think she said they had a. Uh, maybe a 60 mile radius when they first started yeah. of what they're selling and they've expanded so much the growth in shiner of course you know everyone knows shiner it's true to texas i guess yeah so. that's a, a great story all right awesome. photojournalist az and bermea thank you so much for joining us yeah